for your new super backpack and clothing. <laughs> what the fuck? You can sit. You can sit and open it. Sit, sit, sit. Sit. Uh, Wait, but I, I'm not gonna fit my keyboard here. Please move. Please move. Oh, bro, but these are the short ones. But it's you asked for them, right? I didn't ask for anything, but I'm happy. <laughs> I mean, I didn't, but I'm happy. This one of that? Oh, this one is fucking good. This is the same one as the green one, no? Are they something else? What was that? Oh, what the fuck? I want this? <laughs> really? <laughs> bro, what the fuck? Bro, it's my first one. Bro, I'm so happy now. I can take it, right? Because <laughs> yeah. everything I wanted. You mastered <laughs> Superliga, you guys took it, right? <laughs> Holy shit. Bro. Bro, it looks fucking good. It's new. Now I will be like showering. Oh, what the fuck? Look, imagine I shower, you know, and it will be just there. <laughs> and I look at this, I'm like. No, he's <laughs> filming you, not filming me. I mean, now he's filming me. I'll take it. Yeah, okay. I'll take it. Yeah, you can do it. I'm not mocking you or anything. I'm just saying. I can't do it. You're like, um, you're like a mosquito in my ear. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You can't say you're a mosquito. Like, I kill this world, I get triggered. Fuck it, I did. He made. He made this shop on fair. Yeah, like dog is wicked. Did you think of <laughs> No, I can't take it seriously. <laughs> why are so why are like this bro? He's so special. <laughs> <laughs> bro like I saw she posted a picture of you yeah. and when you met her you were in the fucking pyjama t shirt. No that's not true. That's not even a pyjama t shirt. It was a picture on the elevator. Really? Do you, know, do you know how old is that t-shirt, by the way? Yeah, but that t-shirt, it looked like that t-shirt, no? Or am I tripping? In the picture. What t-shirt? It's more than like that the picture. Oh, yeah. Orange. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That, that, one, that one is from his that father. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I know, but like... That t-shirt had 40 but years. But you wore it? Yeah, yes. <laughs> when you met her? No. Yes. Yes. No? Yes. yes. He what are you saying? Omar, it's true. Okay. I believe that Omar. He's like... I don't, I don't. When he came to Madrid on the bootcamp on November, he literally took off his hoodie, he had okay. his girlfriend, and he had a t-shirt Okay, on. I legit went into the Airbnb with my brother and my girlfriend, and then I just fucking swapped the shirts. You can ask her, like, <laughs> what do I get from lying? No, I, like, I had like such a fucking good joke, but like, yeah. I didn't. <laughs> I, I, I didn't, I didn't actually, like, I just didn't, yeah. Generally, <laughs> We have the room, right? Yeah. What room? Uh, this room, yeah. Okay. Trumpet. Trumpet. That's all that really matters. You, I hope you guys all did your homework yesterday. If you didn't, then I, I judging you. Okay. Of course we did. <laughs> okay. Just do that again, and you guys will have more fun. I want to say like only one thing. Yeah. Just be vocal. What you want to do in game, and that's all. Okay. Michael Manager. Okay. Heritage. <laughs> One, two, three. Heretics! Let's get it! We're ready to head into the first game of the series. Heretics going up against BDS. Yeah, it said, here we are. Players taken to the stage. Give it up for BDS and Team Heretics. Wave does crash into their tower, just gets deleted. 
Shayo trusting himself in the 50-50, and for good reason, that's third Drake. Getting pulled back now as the stun comes through, but Black it again, just uncontested on the backside, starting to layer down damage. Forrest with a quick double kill, shredding through those health bars. Ice still alive. They've already lost the objective, and now finally they'll start to step forward, but the fight has already fizzled. There's not an opportunity here. Instant follow-up now from Shayo. Pullback coming through. Ice again, untouched on the side. Keep your eyes on that. Zeri. Damage not going in the right spot, and in comes the TF on the backside. Nothing. Team Heretics do matter in the face of BDS. Again, their patience, the execution, just better in this game. BDS dancing around Team Heretics in these fights, not giving them any angle to leverage the AoE damage, the power of their composition, the stronger front line, playing at arm's reach, playing for the win and taking it in our first game. I mean, no, no, guys, please, please, one other time. First, first, first. Okay, okay Peter, finish your him. point and then let's do that. Okay, so guys, they had this pink on Nasha for like almost the entire game because but our, our, our ward here doesn't I mean, we're him. not retaking properly. No, no, but, but, but our vision here, like we put a ward here, but I'm just telling you that this ward here doesn't spot this, okay? So just be aware of it. Okay, that's it, good. Okay. okay. I think the draft is honestly better, like as... I mean, we, if we don't win early, we're I mean, we have, yeah, yeah, exactly, like, yeah. I think this Drake was really important because yeah, I think yeah, really if we get two Drakes, we can force with Soul, but as soon as they go two Drakes, we're completely fine. I mean, for sure. And this is fine, so yeah. I think if we run it back, we just need to play Aaron Drake better. That being said, I don't even know if we are stronger to fight them, to be honest. They have Naut, which is really strong at that time, Jax is really strong at that time, and Karma. I mean, so. I think the first day we just fucked up, we should go through both because I was building like mega big slow push. Yeah, I guess, Like, yeah. they saw all these mid, so said he could turn okay. the wave. Yeah. Um, but we what start? side are we Let's picking? talk about Drake, guys. Let's him, like, if we fall behind, we're not really doing anything. Yeah, of course. Yeah. So, I mean, we can do the same again. Like, we can pick blue side. It's like, completely fine. But you can blind pick anything you want, right? You don't have to blind pick Cassante. So what do I pick? I mean, I don't know. Atrox is the same, no? I think Cassante, this game was good. The problem is we can't pull the trigger. No, I think, I mean, the biggest... Okay, our comp, guys, is about being a Drake as five people and forcing a fight. Yeah. And because we are three Drakes, they are three, ne soul never happened. No, if we can force it. the soul, this is our win con, okay? And we yeah. fucked up. Uh, first Drake, second Drake, we couldn't fight. And then the... Third Drake, they won, won the split. Okay, but they I mean, everyone in, in every other region picks Guys, one minute for Picks, side. picks yeah, Cassandra like this, right? So yeah, if you want to run the back blue, we should pick Cassandra, guys. Yes. One minute for side. I personally really believe blue side. And then we can ban if you want to. And sure. we don't have to pick Volibear necessarily. I think you can still pick sure. 5 Volt if you say Karma. I, mean, I, I, I can just best. go Kalista. You I don't think I should go about it because I didn't shoot. You should listen to it as well. I think blue is better. Sure. Blue's and better. yeah. Blue? Okay. Blue. blue. I think blue is better. Sure. Okay. But we are chilling, oh. guys, okay? But this is also Heretic's chance to be able to bring it back and push it to that final game of the series. Whether or not that's possible, let's find out as we're going to be heading over to our casters. Black is in trouble. We've seen this one before. Is he flacking? Is he stick safe? This time he has the exhaust. It might be enough. Adam in trouble. First blood gets the one for one, though. Already, LeBron now going to start the fight by going in onto Wonder. Nice little bit of poke. Immediate follow-up. Reset already there for the Viego. And once you start losing a fight against this champion, you do not stop flacking. Trying to make the heroic effort. Still has a decent amount of health. Still alive for now, but the rest of his team just dying, falling apart. Yanko's going to ult out to safety. The stolen body of his support doing much more work than the actual thing in this one. Shao, another reset. BDS slaughtering Team Heretics. We thought it would be close, Rob. Not even remotely close. Vitality. We just we, we we are playing like fucking garbage. We are not timing our recalls the way we should. Yeah. We also play full AP combo into Olaf. He rushes uh, more. I mean, Olaf I guess is very fucking one shot. Yeah, he's one shot. So we should take the fight, but we can't take the fight because they hook us and we are running. Because I, I mean, I I agree. That like the I, game I think we, I think second Drake just lost the game. Yeah. Like we we can't give it. Like we need to be there. Like Rumble needs to hover and Oriana needs to press. Okay, you're still gonna yeah. And here, like even after this, we have full mid push, right? Just play mid to top. Why can't why, why can we? Yeah, I, I don't know why. We, I mean, we called to play on the other side, but I don't I don't as well understand why we did that. We have yeah, Herald. I mean, we have... I mean, they are hard losing on top right yeah. now. I mean, we also say it right. They have like no all of some, no all of. I mean, all of levels now, I guess. But before that, yeah. I mean, they are just like yeah. I mean, I don't know. I mean, it is what it is. As we said, right? So, yeah. We went 220 scrims. I think it's uh, it's it's no, it's, it's, no, it's true. No, guys, it's it's, 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 it's actually true. Like if you go 220 in scrims and you have garbage practice, we had such a garbage practice this week. We didn't learn anything. We only regressed. We are actually worse than we were two weeks ago. If you would put the team from two weeks ago, they would actually like put on a fight. But right now we are so fucking boosted. It's unbelievable. Yeah. I agree. Okay. Um, we're we're not gonna scrim, but we are gonna review these games. Uh, yeah. 
I mean, I think we just need to review, right? And talk about what we want to do, because I think we've forgotten a lot of the fundamentals. So let's work on it. I mean, this is basically what we said, this week. We, we lack game plans constantly, but we are actually not playing for for anything. We are just saying, can we fight or should we look to fight? Yeah, I mean, it's just hard, right? Because like, as I said before, we're like really lost, everyone, and we don't really know what to do. But it's just like, for my perspective, from like Arthur's perspective, it's easier if we... Because like me and Arthur will all, always say if we want to fight or not. Like if you say, can we fight Drake? We will watch spikes and we will say we can, we cannot. But like, if we say can we can we fight here or like uh, uh, should we look to fight? Like for me, it's like really hard to say, you know. A lot of our games that we did it, it was me and Trimby because we felt comfortable and we were like we understood when when we are ahead in tempo and when we are strong. And you can see the example in like Mad Lions game, right, where we like know that we have to go in. But I do think in these games, for example, I'm like getting fucked over in both of them, right? So I, I don't know what to do because I just didn't feel like I can do anything and I'm just lost as well, right? But I, sure, I mean, for tomorrow I can take responsibility along with Trimby. But I also do think that the drafts have to be different, right? Like, for example, I'm probably not playing Bolivar tomorrow. And I, I don't want to like blame anyone for me picking Bolivar, right? But I do think that uh, I got a little bit influenced by you, Artur, saying yeah, that, oh my God, I, so strong. Yeah, I want to talk about the drafts as well, like how I see this. And what I think is wrong, not in the way only of like coaches, but players as well. Yeah, but but anyway, I think it's important, and we really understand wrong drafts. Yeah, but but I think yeah, basically, I mean, um, you know, uh, yeah, I mean that's it, right? We we will just do it better tomorrow, and I can promise you that I'm, I'm going to be very clear. And I think I was clearer in game one than I was in game two, uh, probably also because. I mean, yeah, I don't think we should be behind right now, you know, in, in this state, like with, with the chance we have. And I just feel like uh, we were already kind of lost, you know, but, but yeah. yeah, we will be more comfortable and confident tomorrow for sure. I mean, as well, yes. but yeah, I mean, tomorrow for sure, if, if, I've, if I have time, like, um, you know, like loading screen or like the after that is finished, it's not bad if we can talk or I will talk a bit, you know, like how we want to approach fights at least so we know. Yeah. I can as coaches, I think like the, we need some space, but I think we'll make sure that three discussions happen. Number one, level one, number two, early uh, prior, and number three. I, th I think just just uh, talk early. Talk early in the loading screen is the most important because I think our early plans are still not good when we don't have 15 minutes. And in the game, I will ask the question of how we want to fight or I will yeah. give uh, so directions if I'm confident. Okay. But I think that uh, also, Peter, like, I'm sorry, but like, your microphone skills on stage are just so bad. <laughs> and like, and, and yesterday you were trying to talk, but I just didn't understand anything yeah, what you said. And I, I didn't want to like make people out of focus by saying, so, okay, yeah, be... but, but Kide just like, <laughs> say what you want to say. And Peter, when you talk, just make sure microphone is close to your face. And then I'm after that, yeah. in the game, I will talk about team fights. But during, during the early stages, just like think about early game to make sure that we can like be, have a stable early, right? Like good early. Thank you so much, but no. Oh, fuck it. Fuck it. It's like so not in the mood for football or anything today, actually. Yeah, in the best place. Why? He's only on the Do you want to talk about this? Marvel. How can I help you? <laughs> how, how can we help you, Fuck? That's not hard. That's not hard. <laughs> no, how you open your eyes? <laughs> you can feel it when it's well, coming. No, you can't, you can't, no, you can't. <laughs> I can't move. Okay, one more time. <laughs> bro! <laughs> no, you can't feel bro, it. You need to give me like two seconds to chill, bro. I can't just go inside. <laughs> okay, good. Wow. Bro. No, no, no. no. I can shoot. No, you need to do it. Why do you have that big arms than uh, yeah. that sauce? Than yeah. those? Yeah. No way I don't. You don't? No way I don't. I have bigger than him, no? No, I think show, so. Show, show, show. He's big. He has bigger than those? Yeah, show me to the camera. For sure not, no? No, no, no. Really? No fucking way. No fucking way, bro. Bro, it's the light for sure. No fucking way, bro. Keep it in, bro. Keep it in. No fucking way. Bro, now I'm losing my confidence. Don't say that. Alright, fine. No way. Go. No, it's not real. Oh, wait, it's like double or what? It's like different stuff or something. I don't think it's her. 
No way, no, no way. Jump, jump, jump. Oh my god! No way. <laughs> no way. No way. No No way. 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 <laughs> it's behind, it's like not a big deal. No, 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 no one's gonna be like that. Is this a trendy or is it a young person? Oh, I did wonder where was my jersey. I did wonder where was my jersey. I mean, like, you could make Yankos really happy. If I'm with Yankos today. I'm Trimby. You're Trimby. So it's Trimby Yankos. Wait, actually, what's what happened there? I think we both washed our clothes. Yeah. Do you have my shirt? No, do you know your no, shirt I think in the office. I just no, put there was just no space in the to like la, right like put it after the laundry, so I put it on one of the racks. Oh. And it disappeared. Yeah, I don't know where yesterday, and I was like, ah, oh, interesting. <laughs> sure. After a joke, I can't do my toe actually. You can't feel your toe. It hurts my toe. I've been joking yesterday. Yesterday we had two hours of meetings, right? We basically discussed everything, right? What you need to do, right? Manage each other, play on tempo, sync resets, just do the basics correctly, right? Give yourselves opportunities, punish when they make mistakes, okay? Uh, remember, DOS often pressures solo for vision. You can always punish this, right? Like this is SK, right? Always watch out, they generally make aggressive plays around this knee, and if this knee isn't involved, they generally don't. Okay? So, punish your problem. Okay, go out there, play your game, and you're going to be fine. Yeah, so yeah, things well. no, make sure we just make excellent calls. Wherever it's fab in game, say, guys, I'm fuck them, and we fuck them hard, okay? Yeah, okay. Heretics on three. One, two, three, Heretics! Go get it. And welcome everyone to the conclusion of the mega week here in the EDC 2024 Spring Playoffs. Today is Elimination Days and the first matchup we're gonna have is gonna be Team Heretics and SK Gaming. He just, he just, he just, he just in a 1v1 with the Void Monster, which is respectable, but now is Viro gonna push back onto Niski, knock up there from Doth, clean flash out from Zviro, now oh he's gonna get God. the kill! Oh, we knew he was good at control mages, apparently Niski didn't! Black it. No sums. This is going to be big. The Jinx is everything. Doss trying to catch him on the backside. There's no immediate fall. That's a kick immediate lightning crash. So the damage is there. And Niski coming in from the side. Dive bomb in the back line. Just keeps spitting hot fire. And it's a double kill for X kick. A massive fight. A triple in the end. SK taking over. His player will this be the moment where they feel like they threw it all away because Isma's already in the fountain. He's gone. Viro still living because of the bailout a little bit too long. But X kick, they just need to hit the Nexus. Three seconds on Flack and they've done it. SK taking game one in confidence. And the thing is that I don't think they're going to prove it as here that high. And because they won't with like, so I, I don't think like mid meta at all. I think you're just fucking with job Arthur. But I think regardless, if then so, and if they go zero, I think we make away Zeri, our more agency. And then on mid lane, if they ban Zeri, then we just take the virus, you know, if they ban it. And then they'll probably go, I don't know what they're gonna go, right? But they can go like Xyrocon or something if they want. But I think also you can just pick Rexar earlier and they can't do the same if you want. I mean, there's many things we can change. I don't think it matters now, okay? Just focus yeah. on the next game. We are chilling, I think. Just focus on the next Room for Team Heretics to step up if they want. Instead, they're just going to bet it all on a 50 50 stun on X. It gets big, though. They're going to try to burst him down. Feathers fly. Flack it looking for the sidestep. It's all Viro. on him. Viro with the three man pullback. Hand delivered to his AD carry. In goes Wonder. And in the blink of an eye, the rookie mid laner carries all these former champions through the fight. As if the fight before wasn't enough, why don't we just pan over and see the MVP of this game at work, Spyro in the Baron Pit, Spyro in the base, he keeps Team Heretics alive! Ban them all then. Yeah. Or, or we get them all then. We can ban them. They don't mind. Like, just don't I mean, like, the thing is, like, the thing is, if, if we ban Rent and Jax, they can still go like... 
Talia Malfoy and I cannot play the game, right? They can okay. make a lot of jumps. So yeah. Like but the ways the Team Heretics win this game are much, much simpler and uh, much more inevitable. Damage. It was very hard to stick oh. around. Decent damage on now on his Spyro, but Niski right to the back line. They just light him up. Exekick now dashing. He's desperate to try to take this playback, but Wonder is damn strong. Unstoppable forward. SK are crumbling under the pressure. Irrelevant was not there at the start of the play, and he's going to get deleted on the back half of it. It's an easy Baron call for Team Heretics to finish top eight in the last split. They made controversial changes, but on the back of Spyro in game two, an incredible team play in game three. They are set to move on to the next stage. Niski trying to do something, but he's too far behind. And today, today belongs to Team Heretics. An incredible performance from Team Heretics. And a great performance from Dan Heretics. Yeah, I was watching the game. Well played, Jimmy. Good supper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like Actually, you said <laughs> you said you didn't want to play Asio, but you just played three games last year, no? Yeah. Like you didn't want to actually play, like you didn't want to play Asio because you think it was going to be banned, right? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Why. Welcome back to the LEC after Team Heretics' victory over SK Gaming 2-1-1. I mean, it was for sure like a, like a mental challenge going into this series and going into BDS because uh, I really think we showed that we can be a really good team in like a regular season. But yeah, I mean, like this, this week we had like a lot of stuff going on and uh, yeah, like uh, uh, you could tell by just our gameplay and our drafting that our confidence is like not the highest. But, uh, you know, like today we, we take the win, even though we are not the happiest, we, we still have some time to work on the team. And, uh, yeah, hopefully on the next series we can show a be better face for sure. Well, honestly, Carly, that day. So, I'm just going to pause for context here in this team fight right here. Oh, bro, hey, it hey, was that. Shoes off, shoes off. Okay, shoes off. Huh? Oh, shoes hey. off. <laughs> no fucking way, wait, wait. No, no, it's going to happen, it's going to happen. Oh, oh my god! Oh. It was actually the shoes. Oh yeah, I love it. Like two hours sitting. That's it. Okay, we don't like talking into that. Yeah, we're just going there. We're just going on. I think yeah, so, yeah, because yeah. you just went. No, it's we don't know. Right. 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 So, what are you doing? We're all this time. time. And you did this time. Welcome everyone to Berlin, Germany for our second week of the Spring Split Playoffs! Uh, only six teams are left vying for the Spring title. Remember what we talked about about Fnatic. Why you guys improved this week? Why have our scrims been going better? Why did we do better in Game 3 on stage, right? It's because we think about tempo, we're willing to micromanage each other, and you're willing to give objectives if you don't have good position. Remember? You, there's a, you don't have to take every objective, but you can punish the opposing team for overcommitting to an objective. And that's what makes us a really good team, right? Regular season, we're doing that all the time. We're fucking other teams, right? Okay, so do that today, and you guys will be more Sure. Anything so? One, two, three, okay. Let's get it! Uh, Let's all do or die from here on out. Do or die. Harold taking Black a nice sidestep. High is there. Flag and drag through four. That's a solid start. The damage now coming in. Flag and untouched as the rest of his team is such an excellent distraction. Double for the Yari. Flag and picks up the third. Team Heretics take the fight. Team Heretics playing out of their minds in this game one. This is a different team to what we saw last weekend. Incredible performance. Once again, Zviro playing with so much confidence. It was messy in the early game on both sides, but here, mid to late, 
The moment that Ari got this lead, it has been all Team Heretics. Wonder holding on to life for an extra second. They're praying for the reset. They're praying for a kill. They're praying for some KDA. And after that, I really care for sure on three. We have to see if they show their. If you see Gunnar's angle, we'll pick it. If not, they can always pick our jungler in that case. Are we first picking Rexha or first picking Gersh? Uh, I think Rexha better. If only you can show Rexha, no? If they go Harry something. Yeah, if you can trade, the power picks for sure is like Azir, Rexha. If is trading like a decent front to back champ, then I think Rexha is better. I try real. I try real. And the things that we're not banning real if they. Um, it just depends if Yeah, if you want to first because basically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I mean, you can still ban it at first because Rexha, I don't mind. Yeah, I think Rexha is just good yeah. for us now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's still an option. They might play TF, but it's like. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I guess they might do TF because they ban TF on. I mean, I don't think they're gonna first stream. Maybe. But just serious, but like TF. But I'm I'm fine with. Yeah, but there's one thing. If they ban like let's say Rel, or like we ban Rel, they ban Azir and Rexai, then maybe we have to ban Kalista to get the Zeri. Yeah, yeah, because then at least we get Zeri. And we get something. Yeah, yeah, and that's all. Well, I hope Kira, you have everything. We'll start to work through it. Flame Chomper's down. Flacken playing pretty far back. Has to respect the potential for engage from Razor. Humanoid TPing in, but it's to the tower. Drake picked up by Fnatic, but now the fight's starting to break out. Jun buying as much time as he can. Ignite now ticking, trying to cut through the cow. Humanoid laying down the threaded volley. Gets a bit more space. Locks up Flacken, but Flacken has the flash. Flacken makes it out. All Shock Laser sidestep, but Noah's still standing. Humanoid, they're getting shredded. They're getting torn to pieces. The Azir and the Aatrox doing so much work. Flacken isn't even participating. No flash from Noah as he gets over the Flame Chompers. He thinks this is his moment. This is his time. But it is not! Team Heretics turn, they shut him down! 4k getting lower, they're trying to find a way in. Yankos again just wants to get a steal! He wants to get into the pit, but their discipline around it is too good! Wonders in, they give everything just to walk into the pit to have a hope of smiting, of taking it away, but Fnatic look them straight in the eyes and fight better! They take the objective better! They give kills to Noah better! They take over in this game! They took game one personal! Okay, sure. And then we just I mean, made Nico will be fine if I take Yeah, sure, but I think we're gonna take the fight out. Yeah, okay. I think they might be better. Okay, let's go, guys. Okay. 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 So Fnatic potentially favored here in the draft, but Team Heretics have the room to out-execute, to outplay, to outperform. Wave isn't quite there, and Jun's overextended. RMB, knockback, instant follow-up under the tower, good, but the TP is here. Interrupt the three-man stun coming in for Humanoid, a few extra stacks, the singularity there as well, but Wonder happy to have the kill. Now it's Humanoid, it's gonna be in trouble! Clean CC follow-up! That TP was not what they wanted! Team Heretics want a few more. Yanko's whiffing on the ultimate, and that's the call to turn. The skies descend, slows on the entire back line. Push back from Oscar, but Trimby sends it back into his back line! It's a disaster! It's not the headbutt they want, it's Viral had it covered! But a moment of miscommunication costs them dearly! Razork cutting through! Team Heretics routed in the fight! TP's back to mid lane. It is just wonder. Oh, Team Heretics started strong, but Fnatic. The plot armor there, the performance there, they will move on to the best of five! Guys, um, I'm gonna say this is in the simplest way I possibly can, right? Like, today was fucking annoying, right? Like, it was... I felt that they were definitely there for the taking today. Um, I felt that basically, in the short amount of time we had, we managed to improve a lot, right? Like I'm going to be, I'm going to be frank. Like this, this season, we have had four weeks where you guys played together. We've had a total of 14 scrim days, and six of them, five of them, somebody has been sick, right? So you basically, as a team, had nine scrim days together that everyone has full health, right? Maybe nine and a half if you include the half day we had against Fnatic, right? In week three. Okay? So, what did you guys achieve? You guys were actually, by the end of the season, playing actually pretty good League of Legends, right? It's no coincidence that we fucked Vitality yesterday, okay? Sure, they were running it a bit, but you guys also punished it. First game today, you guys played an almost flawless game. Like, this off-season is like 10 weeks, 
I think it's eight to ten. I don't know how long it's, it's going to be. It's in June. So okay. Long. It's a long time, right? So you guys go away. Take a long breath. Be fresh. But bear in mind, we're going to be starting early before next season. And we're going to be grinding really, really hard. Right? Because there's no time in the middle of the season to grind. And we didn't have a single set of time where we, a single period of time where we could grind really, really hard and sort out all of our, all of our fundamental issues. Right? And I feel really, really bad for you guys as a five because I feel that in a sense, you guys, if we'd had another three weeks, we would have been good enough, right? But we ran out of time. I don't really have too much more to say than that, right? This, this, this split is frustrating, all of us are frustrated. I'm personally really, really frustrated, right? But if we use that to channel it in a good way in summer, then I think you guys can go really, really far. Can I say something? I mean, I think you guys are overall really good players. Like every of you, and you teach me a lot. But I think like I think you are missing a bit of like obsession about this game. I would say, or like you know the hunger. I mean, not really hunger, but like you know just grinding every day and stuff like this. Of course, like our screams were not best. I think that should be improved. But I think the most important thing is just to be a team, you know. And I think actually about after the FAP meeting, we are working as a team and like actually like you know curious like what other things and what they are doing. But but it was just too late for me. I think you know. So like, I think that's what we should just work on the next split because I think like just being the team, you know, is the most important if you want to like win this game. Even if you are worst players, you can win as a team. For us in Rope, what helped us after we like got fisted again by G2 is to go on vacation together as a team. And I'm not sure since it's long season, I also know people want to peace out, which is understandable. But I'm thinking of like, not everyone has to do it, you know, if people don't want to, I will respect it because in the road we did it as free, but like any kind of vacation together if people want to do, I'm down to like do it, you know, as a team. Anyone, like anyone from management as well, like you know, no, just to I like get, yeah. you know, okay. like get to get to know each other outside of this work related. Yeah. 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 We go what? Team on three. One, two, three! Team. <laughs>